All right, so Christine, first thing we want to do is, is learn how to oxygenate your body. Increase that oxygen. So you're going to take your hands, put them right in front of your face. Okay. Bend at the knees slightly. You're going to stand up and breathe in through your mouth deeply. Open everything up. And then bend at the knee, come down, breathe out again. So, so, so it's a pumping action. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's, that's okay. good. Okay. Um, and just don't get dizzy. Okay. And, and you do, you feel lightheaded quite easily. Okay. Yeah, you, you can okay. initially because okay. of the, the additional oxygen, which is really healthy anyway. Okay, and then um, you may notice the next day the bronchial tubes are a little sensitive, then just skip a day. Okay. Um, but eventually they'll become stronger, they'll be more open. We've helped people that have had a lot of breathing issues strengthen their, their bronchial tubes and their lungs. Okay. Okay, then once you've primed the body with the oxygen, now let's go after it and we're going to work at burning the calories. But first, you want to just bend the knees slightly here. Okay. And keep your back straight. There okay. you go. And push down into the mat, left, right, like left, this. right, just like that. Keep your feet on the mat. Okay. And yep, just keep going, just like that. And as you sit down and, and do that, can you feel it? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good. That's you, that's what you want to um, work on several times a day if you can while we're building that burns up. Fast. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah, it burns fast. It is. It's yeah. absolutely amazing. I've never experienced anything like it. I didn't realize how intense it really was. But it is intense. Um, so build up to it, do repetitions of that. And in between the repetitions, you want to stand up and lift the heels up and down. Because as you lift the heels up and down, you pump the calf muscle, which feeds circulation back to the thighs as it works its way back up to the heart. But that increased circulation primes these muscles for the next set, and you can okay. concentrate on you, you will be breathing. Um, so you just keep breathing, keep pumping and then get ready for your next set. Okay. And you just do the same thing and, and always keep the back straight because if you come forward it's easier but it takes the weight off the thighs. And, and you can fill up that happens for the bar. <laughs> yeah, the bar helps. No question, the bar helps you stay okay. more centered. Um, otherwise you do have a tendency uh, to come forward for your balance as these muscles get tired. Okay. You want to move forward and forward but if you have the bar you can help resist okay. that. Okay. And, and that's great. So, okay. so just those things to begin with. And then when, uh, if you want to change it up a little bit, okay. you can just jog in place, kind of hold on to the bar. I turn sideways. Okay. And if you turn, yeah, okay. that's fine. Okay. Uh -huh. And just lift your knees up and down and jog. Just kind of like a regular yes. jog? Uh -huh. okay. And concentrate on lifting the knees up. If you lift the knees up and tilt backwards slightly while you're doing it, you're going to be working this whole area of the body. All these muscles are going to tighten, tone, and flatten. Okay, so I watched your video mm -hmm. and it talked a lot about the baby bounce. Yes. So is that something that I need to start and end with? Absolutely. Okay, so before I do anything else, I need yep. a baby bounce. Thank you. That's can correct. do the breathing thing, mm -hmm. do the jump of walk right. <laughs> instead of the run. Yes. Do a baby, add that yep. the high step, right. and then end with. The, the baby, baby bounce. bounce. How right. long do I do the baby bounce for? Well, when you're first starting in the morning, if you can do it for a, a good minute to two okay. minutes, the movement up and down activates the lymph system. And that's leaving the feet flat on the mat. That's leaving the feet. Okay. Well, not Or can we lift up and? Yes. Okay. Lift so the heels up and down. Because okay. if you're lifting the heels up and down, you're making it easier on the heart to increase circulation. You're breaking okay. up blood cells. Blood okay. cells, especially if we're acidic, have a tendency to get sticky. And as you move up and down, the blood cells have a sodium potassium pump. They're positively innately charged like a battery. They generate a field of energy around themselves, which we can see under microscopes. Okay. And um, as that energy field increases around the, the cell, the actual cells imbibe with more fluid. It becomes separated, oxygenated, and energized. They're able to move through the capillary. Oh. and through the different areas of the body. So moving up and down will increase those blood cells to the brain and, and the other eyes, blood vessels of the eyes, all through, throughout the body. Our objective again is to help improve the ability of the body's function. So this moving up and down is real important for a lot of reasons, but it's the wake up call too. Okay. So um, circulation is warming up all the tissue in the body. Every athlete, in my opinion, every athlete 
should do the cellar side movement before they even try to stretch. Okay. Because it's massaging all the tissue, increasing all the circulation, so it's going to be more flexible. But it's also priming the body so that as we increase homeostasis, balance, circulation, communication through the body, it's going to be more responsive. And so you're right. We do the baby bath, then we do the breathing to prime the body, and then the we do the, the, the okay, the, the and then end with the jamba for and the then, baby bath. Exactly. Okay. Right. All right. So this is what I'm going to do for the first few days, since we're going to roll this out every Monday. We're going to have a new video with things that. He's gonna teach me how to do that helps me get healthier. And we'll roll that out every Monday. So join us on Mondays, but this will be the first one to help you out, especially if you're a beginner. Thanks, Christine.